Okay, so putting your baby to sleep awake. So, you know, I'm not here to tell anybody that, you know, the way your kid might go to sleep now, you know, is wrong. And if it's working for you, that's wonderful. But truly, when families come to us who are struggling, the way that we resolve their sleep struggles is to advise them to put their child in their crib awake. Okay, so I know that like me saying this brings people to say, oh my gosh, I ha- they're going to be doing this and my kid's not going to like it. I never and- could do it because I never had you when they were in that baby stage. It was nurse them to sleep, quietly put them down and creep your way out of the room. And I know there are so many of you guys that are in the same boat. <laughs> For sure. And you know what? That works, honestly, until it doesn't, or every day you're just waiting to see what's going to happen, like very, you know, unpredictable days. Yeah. But when you are coping yourself or, you know, you have a goal set, like, you know, you want to work out in the evenings or you need to go back to work or someone else needs to watch my child developing your child to go to sleep awake, which is independently in their cribs is the ultimate goal that will like work for 90% of families that I help you know, right. to get their sleep issues resolved. Because ultimately you want them as young as possible to learn how to fall asleep on their own. Right. And I that's- do notice the younger you start, the less problems you do have down the line. It's Which not is to why- say that I can't help, yeah. but that you can help older ages. But, you know, when you start earlier, you do see faster results as well as longevity. Too. Well, that's why I had to turn to you when my toddler was, I forget, was he two or three? I couldn't put him to sleep because yeah. I had to lay with him until he fell asleep. That is an hour at 8 p.m. of wasted time because I didn't do it when he was a baby. So yeah. Okay. So give us some tact- tactical ways, whether it's probably easier as they are babies. So let's talk about babies. Give us some tactical ways to put your baby up. A- a- sleep or put them in the crib when they are still awake for sure so um yeah depending on the age and what what i do you know i work with families in a very customized approach so i really like give them details on exactly on how to manage this but ultimately you do want to support your child so you won't be abandoning them in any sort of way i do believe that your child needs to know that you're there for them so you can be in the room you could support them give them some gentle touch um you know some kind some calm words you know very you know they can smell you they can hear you they can they know you're there so Mm. i think it's super important to know that you do support your child right while they're learning this skill so they are yes they are going to be upset because you're establishing something new and something different that's that they're not aware of yet but Right. It will get better over time, but it, I think I personally think it's very important that you support your child while they're learning this music. Yeah. yeah. And to that end, you're really, you're right. It was very customizable. Cause I remember after a few days, I'm like, the this is not working. Give me, you know, something else to do to help him to sleep. So yeah, there was a bunch of different things that you were able to give us to. to and toddlers are very different as well. Different than babies. Yeah. So yes, for sure. Um, there's not necessarily like there might be not the same type of crime, but protest in a way or, or stalling tactics, or, you know, they want to think of something to keep you there or not right. let you leave. So we have to find very gentle guided ways to get them to really learn to love their sleep.